This is the animal research facility at Queen Mary University of London. We have a wide variety of different species here that we use for biomedical research, including laboratory rats and mice, zebrafish and naked mole rats. The purpose is to enable researchers to perform biomedical research and make medical advances in areas such as cancer research, heart disease and transplantation medicine, but only where there is no non-animal alternative available. So animal testing is necessary to develop the new medicines of the future. In other words, the diseases which affect our societies, from obesity to diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular diseases and so forth, these diseases need new therapeutic strategies, new ways to treat the patients. There are several examples where research conducted in this university, through also animal testing, has had a clinical benefit for patients. Every single day I have to come into this room and I've got to check every single animal in every single one of these cages here. We do as much as we can. For example, the cage is supplied with autoclaved bedding, chew sticks and fun tunnels, as well as um, the nesting material as well. And then what they do over the course of a week, they will manipulate the bedding into a suitable nest that they're comfortable with. They'll also manipulate the fun tunnels into one that they prefer. I know that these mice are being looked after as, as best as I can and I'll do everything that, that I can to make sure that they do have a stimulating environment just because I wouldn't be happy myself if I was in a cage and I had nothing to do. One of the most important concepts for people using animals in research is the concept of the three R's. R for refinement, R for reduction and R for replacement. At Queen Mary, we're always looking for ways in which we can reduce the numbers of animals that we use and also reduce the amount of suffering that they undergo. So one of the ways that we can do this is using non-invasive animal imaging scanners. And these are brilliant because you can collect information about an animal, the biochemistry of the tumours, and we can do this in a way that doesn't harm the animal at all. Using this method, we can use one animal and image the animal non-invasively at five different time points and therefore we've reduced the number of animals used. Using the same equipment, we can also refine the methods that we use because, for instance, we can see inside the animal, we can see how big the tumour is and we never allow the tumours to reach a size at which the animal will be suffering. The whole purpose of our investigation is to reduce the amount of animals that are used for this research by providing substitutes. Many animals are used for cancer research, but recently the advances that we've made in the laboratory enable us to replace animals and yet get cheaper, more effective and more detailed information about cancer cells' behaviour. Using our in vitro techniques, we've been able to show things that we were unable to show in animals. You can actually see the response of individual cells to particular drugs and find out new ways of developing cures which prevent the cancer growth. Animal welfare is very important to me as an individual and as a member of my organisation. Here at Queen Mary University of London, we'll continue to make progress in animal research, but we will also continue to strive for the best possible welfare conditions for the animals within our care.